part of my job is to be a, a liaison for Olson Custom Farms, and so you have to work with landowners, whether it's conservation programs or or cropping systems, what we're doing, because we've we've sparked a lot of curiosity, and people are interested in what we're doing, and a lot of people look to Chad as kind of a mentor or an example they want to follow, and so. You know, I just tell the, our landowners if we're thinking about doing cover crops, what they're gaining for their land. It's, it's going to be in a better uh, condition based on an extended rotation or if we bring cover crops into the system. And uh, we ha yeah, we have another gentleman besides this gentleman that we rent uh, land from south of Hendricks and he's very excited about cover crops as well. And, and likes to see them out there. And he has cow-calf uh, pears and will be able to capitalize on the cover crops. So it, it's a benefit for him as well. So yeah, being a, a liaison and, and just sitting down with produ uh, landowners that we, we rent land from, it, it's, it's, it's usually not too hard to sell. Okay. And are you seeing a change in that? Do you think that a change in perception, say from five years ago, do you think there's a change yeah, in perception? Yeah, I, th I think so. There's a, a little bit of perception that this is messy farming or that something's going to be a weed. I mean, we've had some escapes. Some, sometimes the Dorfessex rapeseed has Roundup tolerant, tolerance to it, whether it's canola outcrosses or whatever. but. So there's a little bit of that, that it's maybe messy farming, but uh, once you kind of see how well the, the, the cash crops do after it, I think that perception goes away. You've got multiple things going on. You've got cow calves, you've got cool seasons, you've got cover crops, and why are you doing all this? Long-term goal is to improve the soil or make it better than what we received it and that's what I really like.